Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm coming to you live today from my second home for the summer, which is the pool. And we are going to be cleaning my everyday fine jewelry collection today. And the reason I thought of this is when I'm at the pool, I use a crap ton of sunscreen, um, especially since I recently got a chemical peel and my skin is really sensitive. But anyways, when you use sunscreen, your jewelry will get really filmy. Uh, sunscreen is waterproof and it leaves that film over it. So you really have to deep clean your jewelry to get it off. And so since I will be doing that, I thought I would go ahead and share the process with you. So tune in to see how I get my jewelry to look brand new and super sparkly and shiny using all products from Amazon. And I also have this really great tray that I place them on during cleaning. I will show it to you in just a moment. So let's get on home, get the jewelry out of the safe, and let's get cleaning. All right, guys. So here is the marble tray I'm telling you about. It's nice and heavy, really high quality. It's real marble, it's solid. It's so good. I will link it for you in the description box of this video. Well, let's go ahead and grab the things we're going to need. So I'm going to clean my little everyday earrings here. All right, guys, here's all the stuff we're cleaning today. Let me just give you the before on the love bracelet. You can see even the screw area has filmy stuff. It is really dirty. You can see behind, well, inside the screw, how there's buildup in there. So we're gonna get rid of all of that. And uh, let's look at my engagement ring. Super dirty, very filmy, not looking good at all. So we're gonna get it all cleaned up. All right guys, here's what you're going to need. The Connoisseur's Fine Jewelry Cleaner. The link is in the description box. This is so awesome. It's such a great cleaner. It has a little basket on the inside so that your jewelry doesn't get lost in there. You just pull it up when you're done. You're going to want a little bit of Dawn dishwashing liquid because it's so good at cutting grease and grime. So just a little goes a long way. We're gonna add our water to this. You need some kind of a brush. I like to use a soft bristle toothbrush with the pointy ends because it gets into the grooves really nicely. Your connoisseur will come with uh, one of these tiny brushes and also one of these tiny tweezers But I don't like either one because the tweezers are just too light for the jewelry that I have And this brush is just too small and the handle is too small and I like to have more control And then I just use real regular tweezers But what I do is ensure is um, I'm being very careful with them because they can scratch your jewelry So just be really gentle and you'll be fine so now for the polishing cloths, you're going to need, I like to use several different kinds. So like this blue one is perfect for polishing gemstones and diamonds. I've shown you this one before. This is the Bergen impregnated polishing cloth that is perfect for cleaning the love bracelets. So that's why I like this one. It gets out the scuffs and scratches. Your Cartier Love Bracelet might come with one of these, but I don't like it at all. I rarely ever use it. I think I use it to clean my phone screen. It's just way too soft and doesn't do anything to really bring luster to the Love Bracelet, so I'm not a fan of this one. For your silver jewelry, I really love this particular cloth by Peak Nip. The inside, which is this white portion, you can see mine is very well used. It does a great job of taking tarnish off of silver jewelry and then this gray part is really good for adding the luster 
And then today we're going to try something new. This, these cloths are by Sunshine. They're called Sunshine Polishing Cloths. I got the five pack. They come in these little tubes. I've heard and seen lots of good reviews with these. So we're going to be trying these out today. It feels a lot like that version cloth, maybe a little thicker. I'm very excited about how this feels. I think this is going to do a great job for us. So we'll check that out in just a moment. And I need to take this bead bracelet off because I will be cleaning it as well. All right, friends. So step one is we're going to dilute our Dawn with water. We're going to wash each piece of jewelry using the brush, rinse it. And then we're going to drop the jewelry into the cleaning solution where it will sit for 30 seconds to one minute, depending on how dirty it is. We'll take it out, rinse it with plain water. And then step three, we're going to polish with, with the appropriate polishing cloth. Now, if you're ever in a hurry, you can skip step two, which is to use the cleaning solution and only wash and rinse the jewelry, and that should be sufficient. But today, I'm just gonna show you all of the steps all together. Let's get going. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jody. I enjoy jewelry, wearing it, cleaning it, living in it, all of that good stuff. So if you love jewelry too, subscribe to the tribe and join our family over here. I also love other luxury items like bags and shoes and I do a lot of unboxing and reviews and things like that for you. And I have a few things coming up for the summer that I'll share with you as well. So welcome to my channel. Let us get started with our fine jewelry cleaning process. Oh, quick side note. So I'm wearing my Van Cleef and Arpels Malachite necklace. It is not on the tray because you cannot clean Malachite the way we're going to clean the rest of my jewelry. The pieces we're cleaning today are all 18 karat gold and diamonds. You can do the same with your solid gold, your diamond and your solid silver jewelry. Do not do this to any costume jewelry, um, gold filled, gold plated, any of that. Only do this to solid jewelry. For your costume jewelry, you can polish with a soft cloth. I'm gonna show you a few in just a moment just to bring that sheen back, but you do not want to put any kind of cleaners or use any abrasive methods on your costume jewelry or on your gold filled and plated and so forth, okay? So let's get started. So I'm gonna do diamonds first. So you wanna make sure that you close the drain of your sink so that you don't accidentally drop your jewelry in there and lose anything, because we all know how devastating <laughs> that would be. So I'm simply just using the brush and washing over it. Nothing too crazy. Gonna come in here and rinse the ring. So that step gets rid of all of the grime and then we can move on to our step two. You've been looking for, looking for someone who brings you breakfast in bed and does a mess with your head. No, but you don't answer to, answer to no one. Too many scars from people tearing you apart no. You think I let you down Break your heart and play around But that's not me, no I will love you, love you right back And come and hold you whenever you're sad yeah. I know you don't wanna get hurt But you love to take my word That I will love you, love you right back Love you right back You don't wanna be, wanna be left out You wanna feel something real With someone who knows what you need Alright friends, so step two I'm going to rinse all of the jewelry Place it on a paper towel and then I will move them from that paper towel into the connoisseur's cleaner. And then we will let them sit in the connoisseur's for about 30 seconds. And then we will do our final step, which will be to polish the jewelry when they are dry. You're sad. Yeah. I know you don't wanna get hurt, but you'll have to take my word that I will love you, love you right back, love you right back. Ooh. 
So these pieces are done. So I've already put them in the connoisseurs. I've rinsed them. And next we're going to proceed to polishing. Okay, so the first thing we're going to polish is the love bracelet because I'm excited to see how this new polishing cloth is going to work. So let's go ahead and get started. So far, so good. The texture is really good. For the love bracelet, you definitely have to use a heavier polishing cloth that has some impressions on it. Oh yeah, this is a great cloth. This looks really good. The scratch that was right here is gone. This is good. Again, I'm gonna link all of these products for you in the description box of this video. And they're all from Amazon and all super affordable. Also, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that this is the week that I have both my daughter and my friend's daughter. So if you hear on any banging on the door, it is them. It is a surprise I made it this far into the video. They've been begging to be a part of it. They're asking me, please put me in your video. <laughs> they want to be featured, but Anyway, this is not the kind of video to feature kids on, so I hope to be able to finish unscathed so far. So good. Alright guys, look at the love bracelet so far. It looks amazing. Look at the cloth. This is a really good cloth. So again, this is a sunshine polishing cloth, and this is great. I think this is, this might be just as good as the version or probably a little bit better because it's more affordable than that version polishing cloth because I think this five pack was low 20s while one of those version impregnated is like 22 I think, something like that. Um, it is about half the size but still you get five of them in the pack so this is more affordable and it works really well. So. Let me keep going with polishing everything and I'll check back in with you in just a moment. All right guys, here is the after. I'm super happy with the results. I've never had my love bracelet professionally cleaned at the store and I think this looks great. It looks good from the side, the top. It is really pretty. This cloth did an amazing job. So now you guys see why I do this in three steps because certain pieces of jewelry, steps one and two are not enough. You really do need that good polishing cloth to really bring out the shine, get rid of the scratches and the scuffs and make the final product look like this. And that's why some pieces need step three. Right, up next, I am interested to see how this cloth will work on silver jewelry. I typically use the peak nip on it, but since it worked so well on the love bracelet, let's just give it a try and see. All right, it's not bad, but I think I get better results on silver with peak nip. So I'm gonna grab it and that's what I will use to complete this one. All right, I've got my peak nip cloth. That's what I'll use for my silver cuff. Also guys, you can reuse and reuse and reuse these polishing cloths. You don't have to throw them out after one use. So they will look raggedy and that's totally fine. They still work even though they start to show those black marks. So feel free to keep on using the same one until you think it is completely out and it's just not working anymore. Uh, you don't want to wash these because there is agents inside the cloths that help to make the jewelry beautiful so don't wash them you can wash the other ones that are just for polishing diamond jewelry 
because those don't have any of the agents inside the actual cloth. It's just a soft cloth. So those you can wash, but don't wash the other ones like these. All right, peak nip cloth never fails. Silver cuff is looking good. Let me finish this one up and I'll show you what it looks like. So here we are, silver cuff looks amazing. Super pretty, very shiny. Does have a couple scratches on it, but that's something I'd have to get professionally done. But for everyday wear, it looks really nice and I'm happy as usual with the result of using my Peak Nip Polishing Cloth for silver jewelry jobs. So up next, I'm going to do my love necklace. You can see that it's in pretty bad shape. So I'm going to use the same sunshine cloth on it and let's see what kind of results we get. All right, friends, here's our love necklace. It looks really nice. For how bad it looked, it looks really good right now. So this cloth has done an excellent job on both the bracelet and on the necklace. And I'm sure you can hear my kid going, Auntie Jody, please open the door. <laughs> um, but anyways, love the results on the necklace as well. All right guys, I cleaned the Zoila anklet as well. It's so beautiful. So initially I tried using the same sunshine cloth I used on the love bracelet and it looked horrible. The black stuff was coming off on it instead of removing um, the tarnish from the wrist, from the anklet. So I realized that it didn't like being polished and this piece just likes being cleaned with step one and two only. So I started over and washed it again with the Dawn and then I went in and did a little bit of the connoisseur and I just left it after that and now it looks shiny and beautiful. So this piece doesn't like being polished with that type of cloth. Maybe it would like a soft cloth, but I think I'm just gonna leave it right here. So after step one, step two, this is the result and I think this looks great. All right, so this is my Tiffany bead bracelet and I can already tell you it doesn't like this cloth. I just swiped it over it and it looks really frosty and it's not like in this cloth at all. So the only things this cloth, this cloth is great for bigger solid gold pieces. I used it on the David Yerman cuff. You can see it's really shiny, very gorgeous. It worked very well. And then on both Cartier pieces. So I think that will be what this sunshine cloth will be best suited for. So let me go ahead and polish this off using the peak nip cloth on the gray side. And I think we will get better results from doing that. All right, friends, I was right. So the peak nip gray cloth worked wonders for this bracelet. It's really shiny, it looks really good. On the heart, however, I did use that sunshine cloth because you know the heart is that flat gold surface that that cloth works well on. So that's what I did for the heart. And then on the beaded part, I used this gray peak nip cloth and now it looks fantastic. So for my watch, I'm only using the peak nip and I think it looks good. Nice and shiny. I didn't want to put any solutions and all that on here. This watch is made out of steel. It is very durable, but I just didn't think it was necessary to go dunk it in, you know, the solution and everything. It is water resistant, but I just didn't want to do that. It's not necessary. So here we are. All I did was polish it. And that was good enough. Looks good. So here goes my Tiffany T. I used the sunshine cloth on the yellow gold part. And then I used the peak nip grape part on the blue part. And it looks nice. All 
All right, guys, let us work on my Roberto coin bracelet. On the back part of it, I am going to use the sunshine cloth because this is a lot like the love bracelet type of material in this back portion where it's just flat and gold. So let's use that. And then on the other side, I'm going to use a diamond polishing cloth, which is this blue one right here. guys it's looking really good I'm happy with how it's responded with the sunshine cloth so someone once asked me if the gold will come off of the jewelry with the cleaning method that I use and the answer to that is no solid gold jewelry and solid silver jewelry will not lose any of its color or begin to strip once you clean it so if that should happen your jewelry is probably not solid and therefore you should go ahead and check in with the jeweler that you purchased from because otherwise you shouldn't have any problems at all. I do this at least once a week, um, sometimes more frequently depending on how hard I'm wearing my jewelry and how frequently. So never had any problems and they always look good. So here's the back of our Roberta coin looking splendid. Let's polish the diamonds. So here go our Roberta coin pieces. They look amazing. Um, after using the sunshine cloth to do the gold part, I went ahead and dropped them back into the connoisseur liquid because the diamonds had got messed up just a little bit with that black stuff. So to bring the diamonds back to full sparkle, I went ahead and dipped and rinsed them. And they look so good, I actually don't think I need to polish the diamonds. But for the fun of it, let's just see what it will look like if we do. And we're just going to gently, but with pressure, go over the diamond portion of the bracelet. And it actually looks super pretty. Very slight difference, but it's definitely there. I can see the difference that polishing makes. So that's why if you have the time you want to do some polishing so looks really good here we have our roberta quinn pieces super shiny very pretty the bracelet looks great from both the back and the side view and everything so i would say this is the best way to clean diamond polishing cloth on top sunshine cloth on the back so let's move on to the rest of our diamond jewelry, starting with the diamond tennis bracelet from the Tiffany Victoria collection. So you want to do your diamonds either first or last just because the other polishing cloth leaves that black residue and you don't want to get that all over your diamonds. So knock out the first set of jewelry and then move on to anything that has diamonds so that way you can wash your hands and get a fresh start on polishing the diamonds. But diamonds are super easy to polish and to clean. Um, look how pretty it is already. So I think the hardest piece of jewelry I have to clean, honestly, is the Cartier Love bracelet. One, because it gets so dirty from never coming off. And two, just from the design of the piece, you know, with the little screws on it and the exposure that it gets because the surface of it is just flat and out there. But anyway, this one I think is done. It looks good already. All right guys, so from here on out, honestly, everything is gonna be super easy. So I'm just gonna finish up and show you how everything looks. But these earrings, for the fact that I wear them so often, they have zero scratches and scuffs. And you'll find that is true for things like earrings because they're not getting in the way the way jewelry you wear on your hands will. So these are basically still brand new and just doing step one and two has brought out all the sparkle in the diamonds. So I just need to polish them super quickly and that will be it. Then I will do the diamond rings and we'll be done for the day. guys time to clean my diamond ring 
Um, step one and two has done wonders, but let's just go in with our blue polishing cloth, get out any watermarks and smudges that might be left. And it looks really pretty. And we'll just keep doing that. So I think our diamond looks super amazing as she should. Quick tip, if you're ever in a rush and don't have time for this, what you can do is get just regular rubbing alcohol, put a little dab of it on a piece of paper towel and just swipe over your diamond jewelry. And that will make them look pretty good, you know? For those days when you just don't have the time to do the deep clean, that is what I do to get my diamond sparkling, at least for the moment. All right, here is our last item and that's our diamond studs. So I'm just going to polish them real quick. I know my hands are kind of ashy, but I can't go using any oils or butters or body products right now. That would defeat the whole purpose of this assignment. <laughs> And so therefore, um, yeah, we'll just have to deal with it for the time being, but they look good. All right, friends, we're all done. I love jewelry, but what I love even more is clean, sparkling, brilliant jewelry. If you ever see me not wearing my jewelry is because it is not clean and I just love, love, love staring at them when they're brilliantly beautiful and that is why I go through this process even though it can be just a tad tedious but it is actually therapeutic for me because I love it so much and I love to see them at their greatest. I also really love diamond jewelry for their sparkle. I will be bringing you a video on more affordable options. I believe that diamonds should be for all. And one of the companies I really like is Idyl, I-D-Y-L. Uh, you can find really great affordable diamond options from them that are sustainable and thoughtful. And so we will be talking about that in a future video. So thank you guys for hanging out with me. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the description box. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up button for more content like this. See you friends in another mouth-watering <laughs> jewelry video. See you next time.